Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. Now, we have mentioned the income tax gap being a problem in Scotland before, uh, predominantly um, driving people away because all of a sudden people who are earning money just sort of think, well, I could do the same job down south, earn more money, take more honey home. Not as bad kind of thing. There's that there. And it is a disincentive uh, to, to work harder, work better, put more hours in and grow the economy. Uh, but it's been highlighted again, but this time by the Institute of Directors that says it actually is a direct threat, not just to the growth of Scotland, but to the sustainability of companies that are already existing. It is not a good thing. It is undoubtedly and already having an impact on businesses, on growth, on expansion and on investment. And that is never a good thing, limiting those. Because after all, you need these things in order to maintain your economy, to grow the economy and to raise the money needed through taxation to make life better for especially the more vulnerable people. So let's take a look at this, see what the IOD are saying and why, yet again, we can complain about Shona Robinson being a complete buffoon. Here goes. So Scotland's tax gap with the rest of the UK is a barrier to attracting talent and investment. This is coming as a warning from the Institute of Directors. Uh, the warning comes just days after the City of London said tax divergence between Scotland and England was a source of significant concern. So you're getting people who are well versed in this, you know, the experts, the people who understand about investment, about growth, about turning capital into profit to reinvest, to create jobs, to pay taxes. And yet the Scottish government doesn't want to listen, doesn't want to pay attention. It knows best, apparently. More than eight out of 10 business leaders in Scotland are concerned over the country's income tax divergence with the rest of the UK, a survey today reveals. Uh, releasing its latest State of the Nation study, the Institute of Direction, uh, Directors in Scotland said business chiefs were worried over the introduction of an additional ban in December's Scottish budget, the launch of a sixth tax bracket compared to the rest of the UK's three means those earning more than £75,000 annually will be taxed at a rate of 45% as of the end of next month. Um, and that is a lot of money. And when you're looking at your higher rates, which are also high, and by higher rates, I mean, you're talking head teachers, for example, um, business owners. They could be, when you add on the, the national insurance as well, they could be paying somewhere in the region of 70% tax now if you are someone in that position why would you bother working any extra hours if you knew that the government were going to get 70 percent of it it's you know it, it it's it's a it's an anchor it's a, a retarder of of expansion people won't want to put the hours in you're not going to get that uplift in productivity 82% of directors expressed concern over this tax divergence with the UK and of those, 39% noted that staff recruitment was likely to be impacted the most. And indeed, if you've got someone with transferable skills, why would they go to Scotland? Why would they go and pay thousands extra potentially in tax? For what benefit? Worse services? I mean, if Scotland had a high taxation but had the best services in Britain, you could justify it. But it isn't even close. It's got the highest tax and just about the worst services. 34% um, said employees' choice of location would be a concern and 27% are worried about the impact on inward investment. 61% of the Institute of Directors said that they have the right number of skilled people for current jobs, which is up from 54% last year, but only half reported they were confident of being able to recruit sufficient skilled staff in the next 12 months. And it's going to get worse because more and more people are actually leaving Scotland, especially the skilled. They are going. Um, it was one third of all Scots were considering leaving Scotland because of the problems. And half of young people said they were thinking of leaving Scotland because of things like this. 
And of course, once you're educated, if you if you can't get a place at a Scottish university and you have to go down south, you build your new life down there. You, try, you tend not to come back. So you've gone away, you've got your degree, and then you stay you stay away. This happens, and then that's more recruitment problems. The warning comes just days after the City of London, the governing body for the UK's capital's financial district, said the income tax gap between Scotland and England was a source of significant concern in the financial sector and potentially putting people working off north of the border. And you can understand why. Catherine McWilliams, uh, the nation's director of Scotland at the Institute of Directors, said the skills gap continues to be a key concern for our members. Future recruitment and staff retention are key when business planning. And our data shows business leaders think that the introduction of the new tax ban in Scotland will make things even more difficult for them. Responses show that leaders clearly see Scotland's tax regime as yet another barrier to attracting and retaining talent and encouraging investment. You're not getting investment. Your company doesn't grow. It doesn't grow. It, it can't take on more workers. It can't pay more tax. You may lose out to larger competitors um, because you, you, you can't take advantage of economies of scale, for example. And then the whole company goes down. Uh, results were more positive across other key areas, with 69% of respondents stating their intention to grow in the next 12 months. But again, intention is not the same as achievement. We all intend things. Whether we actually get to do them is another matter. Uh, employment and cybersecurity were identified as key priorities for the next five years, while there appeared to be an appetite for embedding AI tools into businesses. On a separate thing, AI is going to be the destroyer of jobs, massive jobs. Huge amounts of jobs will go thanks to AI. Um, and so I think it does have to be controlled somewhat. Um, slowly. It's going to happen, but do it slowly. Don't let it crash the entire economy overnight. Um, probably going to take legislation. That's all I'll say on that one. I think nearer the time when it starts coming. But imagine that you did have driverless vehicles. Think of all the lorry drivers. Um, people who drive for a living. Taxi drivers or ambulance drivers, etc. Anyone who drives just automatically lost their job. It is, you know, incredibly... Um, it's incredibly world-changing technology, put it that way. So it's something we need to keep an eye on. But yeah, getting here, getting back to the core of this. Um, yeah, so when you have this big differential in tax, and we've said from day one that this is exactly what's happening, and now the IOD are telling them, but of course the Scottish Government won't listen. They can't be wrong. They can't reverse. And despite how many companies go to the wall in Scotland, they'll still insist that they were right. I don't know where they're going to get their tax from if all these companies leave, though. Who knows? Anyway, come up, we'll finish. This, of course, is another one of those examples where you have the experts in the room and the SNP are going, ne nah, 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 not listening. Because they don't. They can't afford to listen. If they listen to experts, they'd have to reverse everything they've done. And then it'd be exposed as being completely stupid and pointless. And they don't want that. Not in an election year. I think it's probably too late. I think everyone knows they are rather stupid and pointless. And they'll find that out because this is an election year. Anyway, I'll stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Please share the video. And I will speak to you later. Bye.